Chairman of Region 6, Mr. David Armagan, addressed issues in the region's health system in a press conference held last Wednesday. Jalissa Hines reports. Recently, there has been a drug shortage in the country. Earlier this year, expired medicines stocked at the Material Management Unit, MMU, were disposed of by the government and measures were implemented to remedy the situation. There has been recent complaints of a drug shortage in Region 6. Chairman of the Regional Democratic Council Region 6, Mr. David Armagon, addressed this matter at a press conference which was held on Wednesday, June 16 at the Council's boardroom. The MMU, which is the central um, place where uh, medicines and drugs are kept and distributed to the various uh, hospitals, they have issues too, and I understand their issues might be totally cleared up by the end of July, because as you know, when we came into government, there was hardly anything in the bond, and whatever was there in the bond was um, already expired. And so orders had to be placed, drugs had to be coming in from other countries, and that's what probably caused a little delay. But I don't want to apologize for some of the carelessness too, that has probably uh, taken place in not maybe uh, following up in a timely manner as to what is short and what is available. The chairman then disclosed the measures that were adopted to ensure the situation does not reoccur. We have put a system in place for people to report, for these hospitals and health, and health centers to report on a daily basis as to what is short and what is required. Uh, so we will have been having now constant reports. So hopefully once those reports are um, accurate, we will be able to intervene very quickly. Because the RU is prepared to buy, um, to buy these su supplies of drugs uh, once it is not in the hospital system. Mr. Armagan also addressed the situation at the Skeldon and Blackbush Polar Marcheries. Skeldon Marchery is also not operable and it has not been operable there for almost a week and a half. So I wish to apologize to the people of Skeldon. We have a contractor presently engaged, uh, working at the Martyr at Skeldon Hospital, but he has informed us that the, the part that is necessary to uh, get the Martyr going has to be imported and it may take about two weeks to come into the country. He further noted, We, have a, we had a si similar system at Blackbush Polder um, where uh, um, a similar system was there before and it's not working so I've asked the contractor to see if, if there's a part there that he can use in the meantime until we can replace we can replace the black bush because the black bush is not working presently. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.